Folks, I want to ask you once again a fun little question that will hopefully not send you screaming off into the void despite its terrifying implications. Uh, and this was something I wanted to ask uh, Sarah a minute ago. What do you think would happen if the current cost of a barrel of oil, which by the way is $111, were to skyrocket overnight, say to $300, if I say $380 a barrel, you know, more than three times the current cost? Because that's what the analysts at J.P. Morgan Chase think is likely going to happen if Russia decides to stop its oil output. And for those of you whose initial reaction to that idea is, oh, Putin would never do that. He's crazy, but he's not that crazy. Well, may I humbly suggest to you that you should avoid ever betting money on a game of risk because you're almost certainly going to lose. He is, is that crazy to begin with, or at least power hungry enough, he will do it. And right now, the Russians kind of have the rest of the world by the short hairs when it comes to the petroleum economy. Now, let's take a second here and uh, just have a little refresher, because I think there are a lot of people out there who hear about the cost of oil and their only thought of is is how it directly correlates to the price of gas at the pump. And, and that is true. It does. But do you know what else the cost of petroleum directly correlates to? I mean, let me just give you some randos, okay? Just a short sampling of a hell of a long list. Toilet seats, TV cabinets, rubbing alcohol, shoes, antihistamines, denture adhesives, umbrellas, speakers, tennis rackets, toothbrushes, sunglasses, crayons, parachutes, cameras, pillows. The list goes on and on and on and on. The United States and most other Western countries are trying to pressure Russia on the war in Ukraine. Hopefully y'all haven't forgotten that that's going on. I mean, I know Pride Month got in the way and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of other Americans seem to have forgotten that this thing's happening in Ukraine. But if Putin decides, if he decides to, he put a real hurt on the worldwide oil economy. And at this point, with NATO looming in the binoculars of the Kremlin, there's every reason to think that he'll do the crazy thing. I mean, why wouldn't he? It's certainly not the case that he's established a reputation for himself of instilling peace on earth and goodwill toward men. And why, you ask yourself, why, when we have perfectly good and plentiful resources here at home, are we in the least concerned about what old Pooty Poo does in Russia? Well, I don't know if you've looked out the window of this particular aircraft headed for the side of the mountain lately, but while, you know, just a little while back, we stupidly and foolishly elected Joe Biden as our president. That's the level of bad decision making you normally only get through tons of alcohol on a Friday night. Yet here we are. Joe Biden could snap his fingers. Boom. I mean, he'd have to snap them real slowly, I'm sure, but he could snap them. And we'd be well on our way back to energy independence in short order. And hey, let me tell you something. If he did, guess who'd be talking about it on this show and praising the president for doing something right for once, for once. Tell me one thing this freaking guy has done. I'd praise him. I'd tell him. I'd say, President, you did a good job. I'm happy to give credit where it's due, old Sleepy Joe. If that carries any persuasive power at all, maybe Joe's going to go, oh, maybe, maybe I want to be on the Chad Prather show. I don't think so. But let's face it. In all likelihood, Putin will cut off oil to countries like Germany. The price of oil on the world market is going to soar. You and I are going to be paying 15 bucks for gas for every gallon in our tank. Um, our fingers, you know, just, just itching to practice the right to vote right now, that American privilege. Now, I'd love to tell you that there's a silver lining and that the ousting of Democrats from every possible place where they can do harm might be it, but I'm not holding my breath, folks. I'm just not trusting it at all. Sometimes saying, I didn't vote for them is useful. Other times it's nothing more than identifying that there's a turd in the punch bowl and that you weren't the one who dropped the deuce. But nonetheless, the deuce is still there. <laughs> What do you think about old Joe Biden sending China, uh, American oil reserves to China? Love you it. see this? I, well, I mean, he's just trying to make our new Chinese overlords happy. He's trying to so. make everybody happy. It's great. But, you know. And I if mean, they can't find that damn laptop from Hunter Biden, how do they keep getting stuff off of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, certain people got a, a copy, which, by the way, I would like one. Oh, you're in the, you're in the media? I know. That's what I'm saying. I would like a copy uh, of Hunter Biden's hard drive. Um, Can you but, imagine the fun we'd have with that? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, look at what's already come out that it's just like, why the f yeah. why are you keeping this? Why are you backing this up to your computer?